Hello folks, welcome to Sherwood Park Toyota located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Today I'm going to be showing you this new Toyota Highlander Limited Hybrid. Now the most notable features on this Limited is its panoramic glass roof, you also have your parking sensors, and then your power lift gate. Now I'm going to go through a couple more features on the inside and outside of the vehicle just to get you better familiar with this new Toyota Highlander Limited Hybrid. Let's get started. Now a couple of the exterior features that you will see on this limited model is its auto daytime running lights. You also have your fog lamps and then if we take a look at the front here, you're going to see your front facing camera for your 360 degree backup camera. You have your plug in block heater as well as your parking sensors and then over on the side you have your 19 inch aluminum alloy wheels. Now you also have your down facing cam with, uh, camera sorry, with your uh, 360 degree backup camera on all uh, sets of mirrors here. You have your heated mirrors, vortex generators, and then taking a look on the inside of the mirror here, you're going to see your blind spot monitoring indicator. Now with your blind spot monitoring indicator, it'll actually light up just alerting you that there's another vehicle right beside you. The other nice thing with the limited models, it does have the smart key system with it. So with the smart key system, you can lock all of the doors simultaneously just by pushing on the two little lines you see there on the handle. Push on it once, it'll lock all the doors automatically, and then if you put your hand between the handle here, it'll unlock the front door for you as well. Now this is all possible just as long as you do keep the key fob on you at all times. And the color we're going to be taking a look at today is white. Now to start off with, we're going to be taking a look at your front dash as well as your front seats, just so you have a much better idea of how much space there is. Now you have your brown leather interior seat surfaces with your power driver seat with lumbar support. Taking a look just over on your left hand side. You have your automatic headlights as well as your aerial view for your 360 degree backup camera, power lift gate, window wiper DIC, heated steering wheel, and parking sensors. On the inside of your driver's side door, you have your seat memory controls. So once you have your seating arrangement set up, all you have to do is hit set and then driver one or driver two. Mirror controls, window locks, power locks, window controls, both your front and rear windows. Now a couple of the controls you'll see here on the steering wheel include your volume control, scroll function mode select, you have voice recognition, Bluetooth, as well as your scroll function for your multi-informational display, lane departure alert, and cruise control. Now the other nice thing is you do have that push button start, so all you have to do is put your phone on the brake, hit the push button, and it will start up for you automatically. Now taking a look at some of the features you'll see on here, you have energy monitor as well as your sway warning control. You have your uh, navigation, your audio, lane departure alert, messages, and then your settings for your lane departure alert, pre-collision system, and your blind spot monitoring on and off with a couple of other additional features just so you can personalize everything for yourself. Now we're going to be taking a look at your center dash as well as your touch panel display. If you take a look at the very top there, you have your digital clock and then hitting into your apps menu. You're going to see your navigation, audio, phone, as well as a couple of other additional features. Now you do have your dual zone climate control settings just located down below with your hazard lights, front, rear, and mirror defroster rear temperature controls and then just to give you an idea of what your camera looks like just in reverse here you can see that you have that nice aerial view as well as the backup camera there as well so the other thing is you do have the guiding lines there so you can see the yellow as well as the blue there so when you actually turn the steering wheel they'll actually show up and then you can change it to many different modes now the other nice thing with this is when you actually put it into drive and then if you uh, hit the uh, view button here It'll actually give you a view of the vehicle just as you're uh, sitting still, just in case you uh, do have kids who want to see if there's any obstructions in the way. Now when you press that button again, it'll actually just show you with the Park Assist to, uh, display on. It'll ask you to turn on the parking sensors, so to actually do that, just go in here. You have your pre-collision system in that. So your parking sensors, just located over here, so you turn that on. You can actually see that aerial view just while you're sitting still there as well. Now located just down below here, you're going to see a couple of different options here, including your traction control on and off, your eco mode, your EV mode, as well as your USB and auxiliary, power outlet matted to a automatic transmission. You also have your heated and cooled seat controls for your driver and passenger. At the very top, you have your auto dimming rear view mirror and a couple of controls you'll see at the top include your open and close and your tilt, uh, or sorry, your open and close for your shade for your panoramic roof. So when it's open, your uh, third or second row and third row passengers, sorry, can actually enjoy the view just while you're driving. You have your integrated garage door opener. 
sunglass case holder and then an additional mirror on the inside here just keep an eye on the kids just while you're driving finally we'll be taking a look at your rear cargo area as well as your tailgate now located on the back of your rear bumper you're going to see your parking sensors just located right across and on the back of the tailgate you have your backup camera as well as your rear hatch release just located underneath your toyota emblem all you have to do is push on it once and it will open up automatically for you now I'm just going to close in on the rear cargo space just so you have a much better idea of how much room there is. Now the nice thing with the limited models, it does offer you the tonneau cover in the back. So the nice thing with that is if you want to make sure your valuables are actually covered up just while you're going from store to store, you can do so. The other nice thing is you do have the 60-40 split for your rear seats. So in the event that you do need the additional uh, passenger, sorry, it is available to you. So all you have to do to actually fold them up is just pull on this piece here fold it all the way up until it locks itself into place. Now the other nice thing with these third row seats is that you can actually tilt them back farther just so you're a little bit more comfortable during the drive. Now underneath the floor here you're going to find your jack and your toolkit as well as some under the floor storage just so you can hide away some of your valuables and then this is also the spot where you'll access your spare tire which is located just underneath your rear bumper. Now the other thing I like with this limited model is it does have the power adjustable lift gates so in the event that you do need to reset the height something a little bit lower just hold down on the button for approximately two seconds it'll beep a couple of times and when you close it and open it again it'll open up to the site for you now if you do need to reset the height for whatever reason hold down on the button again for more than four seconds it'll beep several times and when you close it and open it again it'll open up to the site for you a couple of the uses for that power lift gate is if you're a little bit shorter or if your garage is a little bit lower you can prevent the back of it from being damaged Thank you so much folks for watching this video today. If you have any questions, please visit us. We're located at 31 Audemars Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. The phone number is 780-410-2455 or please visit our website at sptoyota.com to get us by email. Once again folks, thank you so much for watching this video today. If you have any comments or any additional questions, please leave them in the comment section located down below. Other than that, make sure you have a great day and I hope to see you next time.